Now, I know that we sent you some questions. Yes, you did. And I'm going to ask you to pull them apart separately unless you want to, as long as it's, you know, in your presentation. Okay. So that was your comfort zone. And we're going to 19. move to page 19. All set? We are. Okay. Um, okay, so I have a very small budget as far as the number of line items in oh, here. Donna, I'm sorry. I do what I always do every year. We need to move and oh, second sorry. your line. No, I didn't. It's me. Yeah. Yeah. Move the 101816. Is that it? Yep. Yep. Thank you. Okay, so that budget um, is has a 7% increase. Total increase for the uh, dollar amount is 67.35. That is made up of a new full-time deputy uh, who was a part-time moving to full-time, and a 9% town manager recommended raise for the tax collector, and one of I think six people that he recommended for this raise. Um, my supplies line item is decreased. My staff development is decreased because we don't need to attend our certification classes. We're both certified now. My tax lien item it does have an increase because we are seeing many more liens on the uh, taxes, many more unpaid taxes means more liens. That line item is reimbursed when the liens are paid off, but sometimes it can take up to three years to get that money back. Um, and then, so like I said, the, the increase is actually for the wages in here. So I had a couple questions that you asked me. Do you want me to answer those now? or Please. Okay. So the question number one, what is the dollar impact on the fringe benefit associated with making the part-time employee a full-time employee? I got those uh, figures from Christy. That would include life insurance, health insurance, and retirement at 24,902.56, I believe, is that a year? That's a year. What is that done? 24? 24, 902.56. That includes, uh, is there a pension associated with this? There is. So it's pension and health? In life. Life and bikers and whatever. Right. She's entitled to every, um, the second question is the full-time employee in the retirement system. Yes, it's not a voluntary thing we're uh, required to be in that system if you're full-time she's um, she does get all the same full-time benefits as any other full-time employee oh. I could just say one thing for clarity's sake it's not a pension Jerry it's part of the retirement system she has to serve a period of time before it's eligible for yeah. okay and um, there's a, a question here that I'm not quite understanding why it's worded the way it is. Why the overtime line of 1750 at two hours per week? Is this for the new full-time employee? That 1750 line item is not an overtime item. It's for a part-time clerk. Clearly states part-time clerk, non-union, 1750 an hour and an estimated 100 hours. Last year we didn't use her at all. So the estimate may be slightly overestimated, but she is uh, works in the building. We do call her in if we get extremely busy at tax time. Normally, it might be a few hours here and there if I if if I, I feel like I'm not getting some of the checks in or, or and I need somebody to watch the window. She typically watches the uh, drive up window for me, and she's also kind of a backup if one of us gets sick because God knows that. You can't plan getting sick. Um, I do need to call somebody in there because we uh, we actually run the drive up and the window. If I close that drive up, I'm going to have a lot of angry people. <laughs> it gets very busy at tax time. So her part, her wages have always been in that part time line. Mm -hmm. Yep, we've always had. We actually used to have three part time clerks at ten dollars an hour, and we've got that down to one part time clerk. Um, and again, that. 100 hours is an estimate, and it may be an overestimate, but it's an estimate. So can, can I answer any questions? Yes, I think we'll start on this side this time with Glenn. Uh, no questions. <coughs> Absolutely okay. Jim. I'm all set, thank you. No questions. 
This is where I always get confused, <laughs> looking at the left page and the right page. When I see on the left page $101,816, mm -hmm. and I look over the right page and it's $98,990. 98990 I don't know where that's coming from. To the bottom of page 20. On the back of page 20. Back of page 20 the bottom of page 20. 98990 That's a request. That's what was requested by the department. Oh, that, so that was... The yeah, that was requested. That was exactly the original? Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was the original requested that I asked 98, for. 98990 was your original request. Right. Yes. Right? It, it was increased... Request column F on page 19. the side. You'll see that tally. It right. says what's requested mm -hmm. administration as Fred and the BOS is the selectman. So what, B, what Fred's recommended to the selectman is 101816. Selectman bought it to 101816. And where is the increase? That Just to the right of the right. tax Rich, yeah. I know because you've been on here almost as long as I have. It used to be that Mike used to correct it and this used to jive with this. Right. Right. Now what you need to look for. If you go a little bit up above mid-page, you're going to see TM adjustment? On the other side. Mm -hmm. On the other side. And TM adjustment, yeah. All right. All right. That's the line that was adjusted, and the difference is now added to that bottom line. So when those lines don't jive, you're going to look for that. Look for it. On the, it would be easier if it was just corrected ahead of time and sent to us. Right. But that's where you're going to find right. it. All right. Okay. And no, those numbers aren't going to balance anymore. So you're going to have to really dig into it and and find that adjustment. Just letting everybody know how to balance that. That started last year. That's not right. something new this year. It started. La I think it started. I don't think we did that before last year. All right. Okay, sorry to interject that, well, but that's I was right. just trying it, it to clarify it. that. Right. Stephen? Yeah, I have a question. Now, I'm looking at your, your wages, mm -hmm. okay? And I'm looking at 2013, 51,612, and then the budget <coughs> for 2014 was 51,360, which is actually less. And and then with the 9% increase, that the projection now is going to be your, your wages would be 54828 Is that, am I correct? That includes the uh, 13, I think it's 13 weeks at the lower rate uh -huh. because it doesn't start till April 1st. Right, until the budget's passed. Right, so it's actually slightly a little bit higher than that. I think when you add in, if it, for, so for go, going forward in 2016, mm -hmm. it's, it's actually slightly more than the 54. Is it appropriate, me, appropriate for me to ask, did you get a raise last year? I did not. But I did not ask for a raise last year either. But okay. I but well, I did that, not get one. That explains if you don't ask for it, then of course you're not going right. to be offered one. But um, you know, it's it's hard to it's hard to see a, a nine percent increase in somebody's mm -hmm. wages. And maybe it would be more appropriate for the um, you know three percent a year type of thing and and do something like that rather than waiting three or four years and then you know and and then and then giving a person a a nine percent raise, which they no doubt, you know, if they haven't been getting any raises at all, then that's not right neither. But uh, but that's you've answered my questions. Thank you right. very much. Mm -hmm. I have any questions? I I've got just a couple, and I'm going back to the part-time position going to a full-time position. In the part-time position, reading. Um, Last year, well, 2013's figure of 29,000, then we budgeted 32. What are you projecting out for this year? What am I projecting out? On the part time for? wages through the end right. of the year. 35,207. But what that includes. No, not for, the, not for the new position, not for the full time position. Oh, for the but part time clerk? Right. I mean, we're not, we're looking at figures that are basically where we are right now as, or where we were based on 930. Of 19,198. That's what's been spent at the end of September. That is for the part time clerk. That was for the, the deputy. Okay. That was for the deputy, not, we haven't uh, even used the part time clerk. Okay. But she started as a part time clerk this year, or she was full time all year? No, no. She's, she was only started full time September 1st. So okay. those part time wages are the deputy. 
Okay, so we've already moved that part-time position to full-time. Yep. They moved it, and it's in the default budget too, ma'am. Okay. How many hours totally did that add to the year? To this year or to, to the to year coming to up? The, if you were to take this year based on the part-time positions that you had, I guess where I'm going with this, and here's the open question, is that I don't know that if we're increasing these hours and increasing this position to full-time, mm -hmm. you had several people that were covered, and i got to go back to 2013 for a full year, at 29000 mm -hmm. And then you're looking for 1700 for part-time to help when we get into tax season. Right. Which However, now we have two full-time people in the office. Do we really need yet the third part-time position? Yes. It has a backup. It's a backup if one of us are not there at tax time. She's only used at tax time. I have two windows that are open mm -hmm. all the time. I have two people standing there all day long okay. taking in. So if one of us is out, I would have to close the drive-up window. Mm -hmm. well, and I can do that. Right. If you want to take that out, I can do that. I can close that no. drive-up window. It, it's a question. I know. No, no, no. That's, I'm, our I'm job is to sit here and, right. and there's a lot of things that we'd like and there's right. a lot of things that we need. and. Some of these questions are, is, is this a necessity or, you know, have we given a little bit here now by basically well, funding not only the um, $6,000 that is an increase in right. the position, but the $25,000 that's now going to benefits, you know, right. can we, it, it might mean you have to close a window. And that's fine with me. I, if you want me to close that window, I'm more than happy to close that window. <laughs> I have uh, no problem with that. <laughs> no, and I haven't closed. I haven't asked you to close the window no, no, yet. But no, I'm but just I'm saying is, if I had to, if I didn't have that third person there, I may have to close that window, because I, let's say, or let's say, I know I'm doing uh, the hypothetical thing, but if one of us is not there during tax time, and I, and by tax time I mean pretty much the full month up to tax taxes are due, if one of us calls in sick has a death in the family, can't come in, it will mean, I can still run the office with one person. It will mean I would have to most likely close that drive-up window. Mm -hmm. So is it, I mean, is it something I can do with one person? I can. I can. And I, and I can take that uh, that person out. It's, a, it's kind of a backup. Because if it was as easy as coming in tonight and saying, you know, we need $27 million, and we say, okay, we think you should have it. Um, Right. It would be that easy, right. um, but the and, truth and, is, and I, and it may be, not be that easy, and, exactly. and we have to kind of qualify what stays right. and and what may not stay. Right, and if something may not stay, you can take that out. I'm fine with that. Okay, I'm fine with that because I can run the office with one person. Thank you. Um, you mentioned that this part-time person works for another department too. Yes. Where does that person work for? She works part-time for the building. She's doing the record. Uh, they're converting records to uh, a CD or something like that. So do we know where that money is coming? Because she's already being paid. Oh, no. She, when she works for me, it comes out of my budget. I think that's when she works the for them, budget. it comes out of their budget. I just don't want to see your... No, no. She doesn't get overrun. double paid. No. <laughs> uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, one other quick question. Have all of these positions, and maybe this is more for the assistant manager, have all these positions already been completed? The move to part, uh, full time? Yes. Yes, we had a public meeting on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I just, I just wanted to check because it seems like we always get it after the fact. And we did it again. We got it again. So, thank well, you. We did have a public meeting on that. I have a, I have a question. Uh, when was your last raise? Uh, not last year, but the year before. So it was two years ago. To follow, to follow mm -hmm. up on your question, Steve. So in other words, if you get nine percent every other year, that's not bad. Oh, that's very nice. Mm -hmm. 
especially when you're giving to yourself. No commentaries, <laughs> gentlemen. Uh, excuse me. Can I just inter? Yeah. Yes, you can. My, uh, that yes. was recommended by the town manager. Mm -hmm. The raise that I put in for this was a 1.25% raise, mm -hmm. and the town manager in, it's adjusted my budget, and I, I agree. I. I'm not going to turn it away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. I wouldn't turn that away yeah. either. I'm not. Yeah. And I was one of, I think, five people that got that same raise. Oh, I, I, I'm acutely aware of all that. The 9% raise seem to go to everybody this about, except me this year. Um, uh, more commentary, sorry. Thank but anyway, you. I think creating this job full time as an in run around, let the, <clears throat> you know, by putting it in the default, and all that, it's an in run on the, around the voters again. Okay. So, I mean, I think that what we're doing here by doing this stuff in the middle of the year or late in the year and make it look like we're obligated to do it for eternity, the voters don't get a chance to vote on any of that stuff. It doesn't get put in the budget and then have the budget approved. It doesn't even get that sort of a treatment. It gets no treatment whatsoever because now it's in the default. So I think this is a, another shining example of many in runs around the default rules. I think it's very problematic, this whole default budget. So that's all I have to say. Thank you. Mr. Waddell. Uh, I'm all set. Sonny? I've got a, basically a tax collector that's busy two months a year. Uh, no. No. <laughs> 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 what I'm getting at is, I thought mine was a lot bad. of the months <laughs> you can be run with one person, and you can bring part time in as you need them when the busy season comes. Sonny, I suggest you go shadow her someday. <laughs> well, oh, that's one one question. This other question is way off. When I look at the annual report wages, mm -hmm. it doesn't include benefits. That's correct. You know, why don't you tell the public? What the benefit package is and I already did. Just did. Mm -hmm. I just she did. I just did. Oh, yeah. Twenty-four thousand nine hundred two dollars. For the part time, for the part time that went full time. For the part time that went full time. You her, her? I'm sorry. What? That was the part timer that went full time. Are you asking her for her benefit? <laughs> well, no. It's a percentage. It applies to all the town employees. So it wow. doesn't. You know, the, t the residents of the town, when they look at the annual report, they see wages. Mm -hmm. Listed, but they don't don't have any idea what the benefit package is. I don't know. Is the benefit package? No. The, in the reason that that is there's a, a foreign article that required printing in the uh, town report all the wages stipends. Yeah. It doesn't require all the benefits and all the other ancillary right. items. No, I there's a number of reasons for that. That's not what they were seeking, but the other no, space issues. Yeah. That's why I asked the question. So, right. so I'm not really sure what you're asking. Oh, I was asking. <laughs> The percentage uh, that goes for the pension, the, the life insurance. I don't know what the percentage is. I'm sorry. I only have the dollar figures. Yeah, we're, we're, we're beating this one. She started out the presentation yeah, with giving you the exact number. Do you need yeah, it? Do you need it again? Okay, that's the exact okay. number. And as you look at the insurances later on, you'll see the increases in those lines okay. there. So, do you have any other questions, Sonny? No. Nope. Thank you. Yeah. On the average 40 hour work week, how many hours are actually at the window? At the drive up window? Yes. Or an average for a 40 hour work week? Well, we work a 35 hour week, but the office is open 40 hours. Mm -hmm. um, at the window, we are only at the window mostly during tax time. Mm -hmm. And that would be a full day, t day taxes are due, the full day of the taxes the day before. Probably. And I don't know the number of hours. So is this more of a convenience for the taxpayers? Oh, absolutely. Oh, it's not a convenience to me. No. <laughs> no, I, I'd be willing to shut that window any day. It is a convenience for the taxpayer. Yes. Besides that, remember, it's income. Well, I, oh, they'd be paying me at the window or they'd be paying me at the drive-up. Either way, but it is right, much more, more convenient for the them. Taxpayers. Yes, okay. yes. But thank you for asking that because that... <laughs> yes. Jerry? Yeah, I, uh, I don't have any problem with the raise myself. I, I look back 11, 12, 13, 14, and so on. And I saw what you were making in 11. I see what you proposed to make. That's going into 015. And if you got it, 
that's basically a um, over five years, that's a 2.65% raise each year, which I think is within the degree of reasonability. I don't have a problem with the, uh, the increase. Um, well, I have a problem, of course, and you could have predicted this, with, <laughs> with part-time going to full-time. Right. We, uh, we averaged an uh, amount of dollars in that line item, $26,000 over the last three years, 26982 And annualized in 2014, it's 25597 so over the last three years, 11, 12, 13, we averaged 26,982 in that line item. And this year, annualized, it'll be 25,597. If I take what you spent over nine months in annualized. You bumped it up to 35, and I can understand that because, you know, the proportionately amount of hours increased. Except on top of that, we just burdened the taxpayers by 29, not 24,902. So that 24,902 plus another Whatever ten thousand for the for the uh, part timer going to full time is practically uh, well, 24, uh, 25 or thirty five thousand dollars right there. So I'm I'm not for it. I think the, the position should remain part time. Increase the hours, increase the pay, make it part time. If we go over the Obamacare line, make the contribution for Obamacare that we have to make for somebody to take health care, whatever it is, three thousand or whatever it is. But going full time, I think, is a bad policy. It's just burdening future generations in Hampton. Because once you load in pensions and health care costs, which 20 or 25 percent of our budget is today, it ain't going to go away if we keep burdening it. It's fixed. So I, uh, I'm i not for the full-time position. Uh, it's already been decided. I understand that. But my position is it was the wrong decision. It's in the default budget as well. So if they vote this down, it's going to come in anyway. It's back to work, just like the uh, town manager's job, assistant job. So I'm not happy with either of the two moves. I wouldn't have voted for it. I would have been four to one maybe or whatever. But it's time to take positions. I support the taxpayers of Hampton. That's why I'm here on this committee. Okay. Thank you, Jerry. I think we've killed this one. Do I have any motions to accept the 100 and 1,800? And sixteen dollars as the subtotal. Do I have a motion? motion? No, I'll second it. Okay, that's motion by Jim Mordell. Yeah. And a second by Sonny Kravitz. All those in favor? Should have brought some lollipops. Okay. <laughs> and opposed? Yeah. Okay. So Hold you on. have four. Four more minutes. And abstentions, none. Thank you very much, Don.